let's take a look at our Tecate tale of the tape for our first fight of the evening featuring Keandre Gibson and Eddie Eboy Gomez. Eboy, it's been almost a year, 100 days less, but pretty much a long time since he's been in the ring. Really close, four rounds difference in terms of how many times or how long they've been in the ring and a three inch reach advantage for Keandre Gibson in this crucial crossroads fight for both fighters. Mark Frato is in the center of the ring with the official introductions. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Fantasy Springs Resort Casino here in Indio, California. This is Golden Boy Boxing on ESPN. Buenas noches, damas y caballeros, y bienvenidos a Fantasy Springs Resort Casino para boxeo con Golden Boy Promotions, ESPN y ESPN Deportes. Our co-featured contest is scheduled for 10 rounds in the welterweight division. It's brought to you by Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions and presented by Tecate, the official beer of boxing. Hennessy, never stop, never settle, and Wad Gear. The judges scoring this contest are Carla Kais, Rudy Barrigan, and Patrick Russell. And controlling the action at the sound of the bell, the referee in charge is Tony Krebs. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at an even and ready 147 pounds. He owns a professional record consisting of 20 victories against only three defeats, 11 wins coming by way of knockout. We're in green camouflage and making his way here from the Bronx, New York City. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Eddie Gomez. And ladies and gentlemen, his opponent across the ring fights out of the red corner. He weighed in at 146 and one quarter pounds. He owns an impressive professional record consisting of 18 victories against one defeat with one draw. 13 wins coming by way of knockout. Wearing black and silver and hailing from St. Louis, Missouri. Now living, training and fighting out of Las Vegas. Please welcome Keandre Gibson! Great. Okay, guys, punches here and up are okay. Obey my commands and protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves, go back and wait for the bell. Good luck. Let's get it. Carla. Rudy. All right, I'm Bernardo Osuna, Patrick, joined by Joel Dr. Diaz here at the Fantasy Springs Resort and Casino. Hold you up, always hear those words, a crossroads Good. fight, but this is a Eddie, fight, Eddie. really, Drink. that means a lot to both fighters. Eddie Eboy Gomez is coming off of a loss against Alejandro Barrera, who then went on to lose to Keandre Gibson. Now you would think, all right, that means that Gomez is at a disadvantage, and Gomez says no. Finally, that fight gave me the focus I needed. It made me retool and rethink why I'm in boxing. He says, I do it for my family, and that's quite the motivation. Since beat Barrera, and Eddie Boy, you know, I honestly thought he, he won the fight, but in fights like that, you gotta convince the judges. You know, you can't just, you know, do enough. You gotta, you gotta put in a little extra work to convince the judges that you won the fight. You know, he said, I couldn't even watch that Barrera fight, Gomez told us in the fighter meetings, because I knew I was better than him. I just didn't do enough. You were in his corner for that fight. How frustrating was it for you as a trainer, knowing that you've got a guy with the talent and just not the disposition to go do it at that particular time? You know, I, I came in to work the corner. I, don't, I didn't know exactly what he went through in training camp, in his uh, training at all. So, you know, I don't blame Eddie for his performance, you know, sometimes it's he's lacking training or something, you know, something that you don't know. And I, I cannot judge him, but that night he could have done a little extra because he has the ability. He's a smart fighter. And a Barrera is a one dimensional, just come forward, Mexican fighter that you can it, it neutralize that by using angles, you know, hit him and move him. But he fell into Barrera's game. On the other hand, Keandre stood in there and exchanged with Barrera and showed that he was there to win. You know, the numbers say that Eddie Gomez is more of a knockout artist with 11 knockouts and 20 wins. Keandre Gibson just seven knockouts in 18 victories. But he said, my jab is going to be the key to keep the distance, to maintain my advantage over the shorter. 
Eddie Eboy Gomez, but it's all in the plans until they step in and find out how hard the other punches. Nice work to the body there with the jab from Keandre Gibson. You know, they're both, they both started off with a jab. They both have nice jabs. So the early rounds, they're going to they're gonna start that way because that's their style. They got speed. They're using that fast jab. You know, so they're playing this chess game right now. Whoever makes the mistakes, he's going gonna, he's gonna to pay for the mistakes. You know, this is the definition of what you would call a feel-out round. Both guys trying to see what the other guy brings to the table. And how important is this first round for both guys? It's very important because they got to feel each other out. They got to know, they got to feel the timing, the distance, the power. They got to they feel what they got. You got nine more rounds to go. Or that's what the judges hope for. Thank you. Thanks, Rudy. Could you hand that to Mark, please? Thank you. Thanks. Seconds out, mouthpiece is in. Hold on, Eddie. Hold up. Eddie, you got your mouthpiece? Okay. Beautiful Fantasy Springs Resort and Casino. It's a sellout crowd. They're still filing in for tonight's main event featuring Ryan Garcia taking on Fernando Vargas. And you'll notice among the crowd, a lot of ladies. And that's exactly the way King Ryan likes it. Alongside Joel Diaz, I'm Bernardo Osuna. This is Keandre Gibson in the black trunks trimmed in white against the camouflage wearing Eddie Eboy Gomez, who's trying to work the body with the right hand, switching things up early here in round two. See, Eddie, Eddie caught, caught the uh, elbow a little high on Keandre, so he, he's trying to land. Ooh. Oh, big jab, and there comes the counter right from Eddie Gomez. Four, five, six, seven. Hey, come to me, Dre. Come to me, man. No. The fight is oh. over, and Eddie Eboy Gomez throws himself on the ground. Keep, keep your eye, man. Come on, let's go over here. The referee, Tony Krebs, telling Keandre Gibson, I had to protect you from the yourself. Out, Eddie man. Gomez, his man, biggest loss there, was man, a for one a round I mean, knockout. I mean, he's strong, kid. And to come back Dre, in round man, number see, two, Dre, the emotion the out, in his win. eyes, the tears coming down his face, say it all. A career can change with one punch. It changed from him earlier, and this is the new version. Joel, he told us there was clouds around me before. I don't feel those clouds. There's nothing cloudy about what he did tonight. Well, he dedicated himself 100% to this. He put in all the hard work, and look, Thank it paid off. Look at Keandre Gibson. I mean, he wanted to continue, but he's still not doing well in the corner. So credit to Tony Krebs, the third man in the ring, whose primary job is to look after the safety of each and every man that steps into that ring. Impressive victory. Sometimes there's a cliche. You learn more from your defeats than from the victories. And boy, did Eddie Gomez learn from that loss to Alejandro Barrera. It helped him focus. He said, this is all about my kids. I don't like to give their names, but it's all about the four-month-old and the three-year-old. Let's take a look at how this happened because it happened in a flash. We knew about his speed. We knew about his power. He put it together in this combination. The jab and then boom, in walks Keandre Gibson. Look at that knee buckle. And he never was the same, Joel. It was a beautiful timing. He waited for him to throw the, the jab. He just pulled back and came straight with the right hand, full force. Perfectly connected from Eddie E. Boy Gomez. I mean, you can't ask for a better shot than that. Down, go. Three, four. The eyes of Keandre Gibson gave it away. That's what Tony Krebs saw. Doesn't matter Five. if you 
said, get up. You've Six. got to be able to continue. Seven. Yeah, because it's worse. If you didn't continue, come to me, Dre. Come to me, man. For the kill. No. I mean, Rashidi oh. Ellis did something oh. very oh. similar to Eddie Gomez. Oh. And now oh. Eddie Gomez oh. does that to Keandre Gibson, come on, come whose go only go other loss happened against Antonio Orozco, the undefeated Golden Boy prospect at 140 pounds. This is the first and only time that Keandre Gibson has lost as a welterweight. There you saw the father of Eddie Gomez, Mr. Eddie Gomez Sr., who's been through so many trials and tribulations. The referee, Tony Krebs, said, I stopped this fight because he was not responsive and his eyes could not focus. So we thank uh, Jess for that information straight from the referee. I mean, what a finish for Eddie Gomez. Just when you thought the career could be coming to an end after a horrible performance against a fighter who really was not at his level, Keandre Gibson does something like this. All right, we send it up to Mark Frado for the official time of this quick and brutal knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, your official time, 54 seconds in round number two. Your winner by knockout from the Bronx, New York City, Eddie Gomez. And he told us what got me back into boxing after not going to the gym from July to November was watching Saddam Ali beat Miguel Cotto. He wants that shot at a world title against Saddam World Ali. Well, this is the type of message he needed to send. He did it on Golden Boy Boxing on ESPN Primetime. Will we see this on SportsCenter Top 10? I believe so. Oh. Oh.